same time, different place. For Jacqueline. A friend in England tells me celandine spud and flower around the boles of old trees in the churchyard opposite. My always perfect intimation of better days to be, she says. Snowdrops and daffodils wag their heads in the winds of her garden. The weather, until Valentine's Day, had been full of west wind warmth, but now the winds are sharper. But it's all nice, so that's okay. I could tell her here, after rain, heat rises from the ground. A spiral of tiny insects drifts across the garden. Bright sunlight skids off the large glossy leaves of the Karaka tree. But New Zealand flora hasn't made literary big time. My friend is understood by millions worldwide. I by no more than a few on a southern ocean island. But we share feelings much the same for a tree or flower by any name.